Good afternoon and welcome back to Moo. I am your local mooer, Matthew Oliver, and today's five reasons is talking to you about choices and the five reasons you need choices for your wedding. Obviously, choices come into your life always. You're going to be faced with choice whatever path you take, changing your room around, what colour wall to paint, what theme you want in your room. That is just one option, one one choice. I'm talking about your wedding choices because your wedding is one of your most important parts or most important days of your life and you want it perfect for you. The lead up to your wedding, if you've got years or months, you're going to be facing loads of choices with that. So today's five reasons is based on choices and the first reason is you want the best. You want the best choice. So in terms of searching for venues or suppliers, you want to find the best one. You don't want to just go for any old one. You want one that is offering what you're looking for. So in terms of your personality, in terms of um, the pricing, dep 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 depends on also the location of the supplier or the venue. So these are all choices you have to write down beforehand. And then when you've got your list of choices and what you're looking for, that's when you go out and you search. And by having at least three to four choices on each, so that means four venues, four florists, four photographers, four hair makeup artists, etc, 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 you'll determinate and you'll find the best one for you. That is obviously difficult because what you're looking for you want obviously the most perfect wedding and personality is really important your personality is really important and by finding your personality you want to find that in the supplier in the venue and that's why you want to look for the best so that's number one choice that's number one in this whole five reasons number two choice is potentially it could be cheaper by searching for more than one by seeing more than one and the supplier will maybe know that they might offer discount or by seeing one and you want to, and say for instance someone said to you go for this one because I use them at my wedding or they've been a florist for us for many years you go, you go to them they'll know you they're not going to offer any discount because why, why should they but if you research and look for more and look at the pricing and your budget then you can find one maybe a little bit cheaper or a bit more quality, so maybe a bit more expensive, but potentially you could be saving money on that. Okay, so that's number two. Number third reason is you're gonna be feeling confident and happy. Once you've seen all the suppliers and venues that you've liked and you narrowed it down to a maybe two or even one, you're gonna feel confident, you're gonna feel happy, you've done the research, you've seen the venues, you've seen the suppliers, and you know that's the one. That's the one you're going to go for. That's the choice. That's the choice you've made. And you're going to be happy because you've researched it all and you've determined You've done the advantages and disadvantages of each. And then that's going to make you feel confident and happy. Number fourth reason is trust. Okay? By going to see the venues, by going to see the suppliers, numerous occasions, obviously, because you want to determine which one you don't want, which one you want, you're going to get trust. You're going to get trust from the supplier. You're going to get trust from the venue so on so forth so that is really important the trust because that's going to make you feel really relaxed and confident again for your wedding day and you, that's and that, this is another stress reason is the choices you get faced with choices you don't know how to determine what you're looking for of your wedding so that's when the stress comes in but by doing what i'm saying by having choices that's going to make you less stress okay and number five reason is the contact because you're going to be going to see them loads so you're going to have the contact with that person in the venue or with the supplier. And the contact is really important on your wedding because it will again begin give you the confidence you need in determinate your wedding and the style of your wedding and how it's all going to run on the day. Meaning you're going to be relaxed on the day of your wedding. So that's the five reasons you need choices in the build up to your wedding. So with this just make sure you um, make sure you have everything planned and ready before going to see suppliers and venues in what you're looking for, like your theme, the personality, so it all matches and it all connects into one. And friends and family can be a bit daunting on the choices because they're going to be giving you stuff that they've done before 
and what they've created. If you want something completely different to what they're offering, obviously listen to them because they know they've done it and they've been there. But it's your wedding again, okay? And just remember that. Your wedding is really important to you. You've had this dream for years, months, or however long you've been with your partner for. So just remember that, okay? And choices are very, very important. So at least, like I said, see at least four, five suppliers of each or even three is good enough. Venues again, because you could be missing out on something. You know, you don't want to miss out on something, especially if a dress, you know, you, you want that perfect dress. That dress could just be around the corner, but you've already picked one. Oh my God. So that's the five reasons you need choices in your life. Have fun, enjoy, relax, have a great day, and I'll be back to you very, very shortly. Please comment, share, and like, and if there's anything you want me to talk about, then by all means, tell me, okay? My email address is matthew at matthewoliver.co.uk, and... Moo, peace to everyone. Moo, mwah. Moo, moo, moo.